Bharat Dynamics Limited has begun the production process for 248 units of Astra Mark 1 air-to-air -air missiles ordered for the Indian Air Force and the Navy in July 2020. Officials have said that the DRDO is working with Bharat Electronics Limited to replace the Russian radio frequency seekers with indigenous seekers, and it will be completed by June 2021, and it will also be exported to friendly countries after some modifications. For the Astra Mark II variant, the DRDO is working on a dual pulse rocket motor to extend its range to 160 km, and it will be achieved by May 2022, and will cost only 8 crore rupees per missile, as compared to 25 crore rupees of the MBDA's Meteor system. Israeli firm Elbit Systems has written to the Indian Defence Minister and has offered to build the Athos 2052 howitzers in India with 70% indigenization, which is significantly higher than the 50% required for Make in India projects. Elbit Systems has partnered Kalyani Group for indigenizing the first 400 units, and when the production of the next 1,180 units is shifted to the Ordnance Factory Board after full transfer of technology, both Elbit and the Kalyani Group will continue building the Athos howitzers for the global market, and Elbit Systems will also take the required actions to brand the Athos as an Indian towed howitzer. The Athos howitzer is priced at 10.7 crore rupees per unit, which is half the cost of the indigenous advanced towed artillery gun system, and only due to this reason, the Defence Ministry has kept the door open for importing the Athos howitzers from Israel. A Russian press release has formally objected to the overhaul of Russian defense equipments in Ukraine, and there is a possibility that Russia might formally object to the ongoing Indian Air Force's 60A and 32 aircraft upgrade by Ukraine, as the aircraft were originally built in Ukraine, but they were sold to the Indian Air Force by Russia. This also comes at a time when Ukrainian gas turbine engines are set to power four Krivak 3 class frigates of the Indian Navy that has been ordered from Russia. In a significant development, the US President Donald Trump has approved sanctions against Turkey for its purchase of S-400 air defense system and has warned India and other countries on acquiring defense equipment from Russia. The US had repeatedly tried to dissuade India from buying the S-400, but India signed the $5.4 billion deal for five units of the S-400 systems in 2018, after which the US has refused to give a blanket exemption for India from the CATSA. The Chief of Defense Staff has said that both aircraft carriers and submarines have advantages and disadvantages, and he indicated that the island territories can be used as an alternative to an aircraft carrier, and it can be used to launch naval strike aircraft. He also said that the Navy surely needs its air wing, but the decision on a third aircraft carrier will be taken after the completion of detailed study.